An Ode to Time. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I shall start. My story is short, so your comfort is not a priority. Not prioritised. Not so crucial. Must you move, disturb, say sorry to your neighbour, the one who has heard this before? Before I begin, are you alert? and ready for this tale of long, long ago, in a land far, far away, a forgotten place. Prior to my announcement, look behind you, and boo at the visible evil, shoo the fairies and goblins away to play their mischief beyond. Believe me, you don't need to be too comfy to heed this mystery. That is my story that will regale as soon as I begin the telling tale of it, as soon as you are ready. Are you ready for a reading that will shock you, maybe mock you? Take stock of me. I am heaving at the starter's line, hungry to command with a master's voice. Toe-tappingly urgent to break the tape, to release a shriek of spine-chilling degree, to let free this sorrowful saga. Sorrowfully short, yet with a sting in its moralful tale-telling. It is morning, and with a stark bark song, I flee like a wished-for nightingale like dusk at sunrise, like never to be.